There is a difference with saying, I will go to counseling with you and see if I can get through this. And if I can't, I will be open and honest with you. Right. Then to do this. Because the real flaw in the cheating is the lying breach of trust. And then he's reacting by doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. He's enacting revenge on her, and that is not good. No, it's not good. I was never going to give her another chance. All I wanted to do was time, establish myself as the primary caregiver to the kids, and establish her as not having residency in the house. And it doesn't usually even play out. He's in an imagination land now. After six months of therapy, I told her I couldn't forgive her right now and that I wanted an amicable divorce. But she's still the love of my life, and maybe someday we can give it another try. I mean, what that's just pure heck? lying, and he's lying and manipulating her for six months. That's exactly. evil. It is. This is the pettiest divorce ever. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Started a few years ago, I thought we were happy. We were your usual suburban professional couple. I noticed that she was spending a lot more time on her phone at texting with her girlfriend. I bet not. <laughs> no. I didn't think much of it. You should have. I started making a much more concerted effort to get out of work when I could, help around the house, and be more emotionally available. Over trying. Oh, yes. Over trying. <laughs> Your subconscious knows. It's a boyfriend. Oh, absolutely. But over the course of a few weeks, the gulf just kept getting wider. Imagine that when one person in a marriage checks out why it feels weird to the other person. Yeah. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. I ended up accidentally finding some messages when I charged up an old iPad for my son to use. Oh, no. Oh, great. How many times have we had it to where messages? We had one case where porn showed up of one of the spouses onto the kids, kids yes ipad it was horrible that is horrible her facebook messenger was still logged in and there were a lot of highly questionable messages with a guy from her hometown who i will call jim bob cooter <laughs> <laughs> what jim bob cooter for jbc for sure jbc the messages weren't completely inappropriate but i could tell there were quite a few missing based on the times and contacts of the messages that would be all the information that i needed but We'll see what he does. Problem is, people don't want to jump to those conclusions. Well, maybe. Maybe they should. Maybe no, they should. We'll I see. made a mental note to keep an eye on this and went about trying to fix things up. The next day, I took the day off to knock out some projects that I, projects I thought would make her happy. That I thought would make her happy. Okay. That, that's what his... And rather than confronting her about, what is this? Mm -hmm. What are these messages? And having a very calm, rational conversation like a mature adult, he tries to then... What? Like, love, yeah, is it love language of acts of service, acts of service in order to happy. avoid having a difficult conversation he probably doesn't like conflict probably and left her some sweet notes reminding her how much i appreciated her now she's just going to take him for granted mm -hmm. wow no that's not that's not what you do it's counterintuitive mm -hmm. so he's trying to use words of affirmation and acts of service when she's not even necessarily she's engaged. checked out yeah and she was once again in the corner of the living room texting her girlfriend. She is sexting with him <laughs> in front of him. Sexting, sexting with her boyfriend in front of her husband wow. in the same room. Wow. That's not good. I no. took the boy's iPad to the office, opened up Facebook Messenger, and watched in real time as my wife tore me down. I would be done. Oh, yeah. Nope. We would be having a difficult conversation right then and it would be a, an invitation of that is ending and you're either all in or all out and this i this is might what choose. you describe as an emotional affair at yeah, the absolutely. moment and i'm at that point i might choose to to not continue right I, I might engage more because of a child but it would be that's questionable. pretty crappy to tear someone down when they're trying to do nice things for you exactly but it's it's she takes him for granted mm -hmm. she knows she's got him and she doesn't appreciate what she's got and right. the grass until you actually until get over she to does the, it again to somebody else and until you get or to the other side of the street he does it to her exactly so let's see where we get mm -hmm. her and cooter were making fun of me all my flaws insecurities and secrets i entrusted to my partner were why are you entrusting your flaws and secrets and insecurities <sighs> to your partner like you should get a therapist to tell that yeah. stuff to not your wife that is going to be less attracted to you for knowing and sharing those things. You got to be cautious about those type right. of things. Right. Now fodder for her and Kuter. Not only that, but while there was an outright quack, quack. messages, there was an quack. undertone to the whole conversation, especially when she was bashing my performance. Oh, wow. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> I managed to take some screenshots, but missed a good bit of the messages because as the conversation was unfolding, she was deleting them. I took off the next day, spent some time. 
the fact that you're deleting messages is patent dishonesty. Oh, and, yeah. And that's just not right. Cannot have a good relationship if either one of you is doing that. Well, I, I'll applaud him for taking screenshots. At least he was doing that. I would have wanted him to take screenshots yeah. as well if he's discovered I mean, he this. Hasn't even have, he doesn't have an attorney. so No, not he's, yet. He's making wise decisions. At that point, I, I do want screenshots, and I always would want screenshots yeah. of that. Mostly because... If the other side is lying about that, they're going to lie about a whole lot of oh, other things. Yeah. And I need to be able to show that they're lying when they try to do some other underhanded tactics during the divorce. Right. I'm soul searching and trying to figure out what to do. The wife came home and wanted to know what was wrong. And I just copped out and told her I had a bad day. No, that's not what yeah. you do. No, unless you it's a strategic word. The issue. Yeah. Confront it. Unless he needed some more evidence, which he, at that point, it doesn't seem like he I'd did. I'd be like, he I'm not having a, a bad day. Uh, yeah. Here you go. Yeah. Explain that to me. The decision would have been instantaneously made. Yeah. For me. I wouldn't even walked out. I would have been like in the room. Excuse mm -hmm. me. Put down your phone. We need to have a discussion. Yeah. And it likely would have been you have to leave the house. Yeah. I'm done. Yep. A couple minutes later, I was watching the iPad as the train wreck kept unfolding. So oh. began a couple solid weeks of taking screenshots. Call all he solid is. Solid weeks. All he's doing is causing more yeah. like. And no and wonder a, like, why stress and exactly, and, and no wonder why he had a, a relationship issue. If this is the way he's handling problems and he's cowering away from this, of course, have a backbone. Doing, exactly, and he's probably doing a lot of things that are unattractive to his wife and right. driving, driving her into somebody else. Had he came in there and confronted her and like put the law down, she might have been like, "Oh man," and detaching myself from the relationship. I knew there was no going back from this. Well, that's good. At that's least, true. The messages were now that. overtly <laughs> with my wife completely into it. And <laughs> JBC was sprinkling in I love yous. Oh. I consulted a lawyer and got my options and started moving forward. Very wise. Yes. Now he's doing some good stuff. I like the screenshots. I like that he co contacted a lawyer. Right. Here's where things got absolutely surreal. Watching the messages, I found out JBC was coming to town to spend a weekend of quality time with my wife in a pretty nice hotel. I okay. Oh, he's going to go meet her and confront her at the hotel. Well, at the messages. do you think he's going to do that? I'm pretty sure. Have I you see seen where this, this is before? Going. <laughs> We'll see. I was missing a good bit of the info. They must have had a phone conversation about it at some point, but I was able to infer enough to get the when and where. Sure. The next day, the wife is buttering me up and wanting to take a spa weekend with the girls to relax. And when she gets back, we can really focus weekend. on our marriage. Yeah. I go with it all the way. It's the greatest idea she's ever had, and I'll do anything to get us back on track. Okay. Oh, jeez. Whatever. I get with the lawyer. It doesn't, it really doesn't matter. I get with the lawyer. And have him draft a strong separation agreement. In Texas, there's no such thing as a separation agreement. But right. I would draft a final decree of divorce, which would be the uh, thing that would end the divorce and the relationship. Stating that she would move out, she would get weekend visitation, no child support in the interim until the divorce is final. Then I sit through the most agonizing two weeks of my life. Why would you sit through two agonizing weeks? What, to, waiting on the lawyer to, to turn that over? If I knew that this was the situation, I'd have this to him. Prob I might stay up overnight right. and a staff member and get it within 24 hours, maybe. Or, yeah. or within two days, something like that. I don't know what the two weeks was for. After all of this, most of my feelings for her are completely gone. Good. Thank goodness. <laughs> you have some self-esteem after all. And I'm just seething with anger like I've never felt before. There you go. Yes. And that's what the problem is with his course of action. He should have confronted immediately. If that was it, make the decision and move on. He this needed to realize to he was better him. than that. Exactly. And this anger, and this is the course of action mm -hmm. why you don't do this. You right. don't do it like this. No. And if he's about to go confront her at the hotel, you also don't do it like that. Or, or I don't know, maybe you do. If you're waiting for that, I mean, maybe. But this Confront whole scene, her with papers. <laughs> right. Present her with the presentation package of our marriage is now over. Please sign this here. Yes. This is a legitimate deal. And this is what it is. Sign and then you right can now. go about your weekend. Right. That anger, that's going to destroy him from the inside. D-Day arrives. I take the day off work. I withdraw half of any money in any accounts we are joined on. Um, maybe I would want to know exactly what his financial picture is and what, mm -hmm. what the portfolio looks like, but that's not necessarily always a good thing. Not necessarily always a bad thing. It's a, it's a maybe we've mm -hmm. used that tech. We've used that tactic and technique in cases before, and we've also strongly advised against it. It's mm -hmm. very fact specific. 
So yeah. don't take any of this as legal advice. A teaching moment yes. for how and commentary on this, but every situation is different and nothing that you ever hear in this podcast is legal advice, but you can get legal advice from us. Call our law firm and mm -hmm. schedule a consultation. Leave her half alone. I already re leave her half alone. Okay. Redirected my paycheck to a new bank. I redirected my paycheck to a new bank. Usually a good thing to yes, do. Yes, that is a good thing to because do. Because what you don't want is you don't want the other side to drain all of your resources, just like you usually don't want to drain all of their resources either. Right. If you do drain all of their resources, you better have a good reason why. And you really need to talk to an attorney about whether you have a real good reason why or not. Because if your reason why is I'm entitled to it, they're the bad person, they're the one cheating, none of those are good reasons at all. Right. If it's they have a uh, million dollars in a separate account and the, the community, the, our joint bank account only has $10,000 and I don't have anything else and they've isolated me, yeah, I want you to take the 10,000 mm -hmm. versus their million. You're getting 1%, they're getting 99%. Absolutely, I would say on something like that. But if it's you have $50,000 in, in a joint account, that's all the money that both of you have and you take the entire $50,000, that's not good. And they can't right. even hire an attorney to go to court uh, you're going to look like a bully and a jerk, even if they're the ones that have cheated because cheating in court, most judges really don't care. No, they don't because you're going to, everybody gets a divorce for a reason. I've right. heard that from judge after judge, after judge, after judge, everybody does get a divorce. And for a reason. cheating happens so much that judges just look past it. Yeah. And most of the time it doesn't necessarily yeah. affect anything. Um, but it well, hurts the other person, the other party, but yeah. in the judge's it eyes. It usually answers just... one question. Should I get a divorce, yes or no? And right. if the answer is yes, great. Then what do we need to do to get you through the divorce right. process in the healthiest way possible, in the quickest way possible? Mm -hmm. Bank account. I close our money market account and get a cashier's check for her half and deposit my half into a new account. I stop at an office max and print out about 75 pages of Facebook Messenger screenshots. Mm, maybe. It sounds like he's getting ready to confront her, probably yeah. at the hotel. And I quit time because I don't want to be at home. She texts me that she's taking off and that she loves me, and I tell her to have fun. I show up to the hotel at about 8.30 and call the wife's phone from the lobby. It goes straight to voicemail. They're probably at it. Whatever. I walk up to the front desk and ask if I can use the phone to be connected to JVC's room. It rings three times and he picks up. Hello? JVC, can you send my wife down to the lobby, please? I don't know what you're talking about, bro. <laughs> <laughs> of course yeah okay then i guess i have to call mrs jbc and get her down here wow okay so so the other person has a spouse he's actually extorting right now and he's arguably committing a crime oh yeah you do not do it like this no we'll see where this is gonna go but it's totally in love i knew he was married it is entertaining, <laughs> but it's not the recommended course of action. This person's been watching too many uh, television shows. <laughs> yeah, totally a bluff. He knew, I knew he was married and I knew her first name, let's see. But that was it. Married and I knew her first name, but that was it. JBC. Inaudible, totally panic. Me, you've got five minutes. Click. Not even two minutes later, my wife comes walking out of the elevator looking a little flustered. I sit her down in the corner of the lobby. She starts spewing BS, saying it's not what it seems, etc., etc. Of course. Yes, it is. You lying. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> it is definitely what it looks like. Yes. It's only what it looks like. Yes. Me. And actually... On that one, so in Texas, you can record a conversation with someone. Mm -hmm. He could be audio recording that. And the fact that she comes down and does that, I would love to play that in court. Because she's lying about that. Here, judge, he's her got evidence, right? And it, it could destroy her credibility. Yes. And if she's still lying, the judge is going to disregard everything that she says at this point forward. I'm not here to argue. The things that are said in this pile of papers are what's going on. The only way I'm not giving a copy of this to daughter, you're... Again, he's extorting and making a yeah. threat, giving a copy of this to our daughter. You don't do, do that. Do not do that ever. Because if you did do that, then the kids are going to judge you and it's going to they're completely gonna backfire. They're going to hate you. Down they're going to hate you and they're going to think that she's justified in cheating mm -hmm. on you because you're a piece of crap. They might. Because only a piece of crap would do that. And you might win the short term battle. Right. You will definitely lose the war and you will die alone parents and emailing it to everyone we know is if you move out immediately her sniffle that's actually a crime in texas by the way those are crimes right. do not do that stuff Mumble, inaudible. <laughs> this is a check for half of the money market account i've withdrawn my half of the money from all the other joint accounts you should have more than enough to get a place 
So if you if she does have more than enough to get a place and she's financially off and you haven't damaged her security, this that part I don't necessarily have an objection with. Right. She starts to cry a little. Different thoughts and waves of emotions going through her, but now is the time to keep pressing. Now is the time to keep pressing. I mean, he's setting this up. He's setting up a really weird narrative, and I'm curious about where this is going to go. He's trying to get back at her. Yeah, he's getting For revenge. what he did, what right. she's done to and him. This is a two wrongs don't make a right type of situation. Right. I get why he would be tempted to do that. It's not a good thing to do. And I have a feeling that it's going to start weighing on his future and his soul and, and what's going on. But let's keep watching. Me. Here is a separation agreement that I think is more than fair considering what is going on. I'm going to need you to look this over, sign it, and leave it at the house when you get your stuff. Do you want to look through these screenshots? No. Okay, go have fun with a cooter. Do not come back to the house or I'm going to send this to everyone. So that is uh, yeah. blackmail and extortion. And Well, how is she supposed to get her stuff? He just stated... You, you when you sign it stuff, and get, you get your stuff. Yeah. And then he just said, do not come Monday. back to the house. Yeah. I bounce out of the lobby and I can hear her start to have a breakdown. I get to the car, drive off to a parking lot and have my own crying rage fit. It, it, this is not going to go well I wonder if his attorney advised to do this. I and doubt it. So He's got his own plan. That's not. This doesn't sound like, this sounds like somebody who is not. not under control of his attorney. And I don't like his attorney for not getting to the fact that getting he was planning on doing this and yeah. getting him under control to make sure that he didn't. Maybe the attorney tried. Maybe, maybe the attorney didn't. I would bet that he went out and got an attorney that's talking about what you a, deserve and yes, all the a yes bad man, stuff. Yeah, yes, man. Exactly. The fact that you did all of that and managed to keep composure is you're a saint. I don't know. Not a saint. Uh, no, I disagree with her on that. Not a saint. The fact that he pulled it off, okay, he's got some fortitude, sort of. Still not the recommended way to do it. Right. What she did that night or over the weekend, she texted and called over and over wanting to talk. I turned off the phone, and by the time Monday afternoon rolled around, there were movers getting her stuff, and she delivered the agreement. That's good. That's good. I let her have a talk with the kiddos, basically saying, Mommy and Daddy still need their time apart. We love you, etc., etc. Standard divorce talk. This whole thing that he's even writing in, in this braggadocious way that he's doing it, He's trying to justify his need to be right. He mm -hmm. needs to be right in this circumstance. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he's even doing that and trying to get validation means that somewhere inside him, he knows it's not the right thing to do. Well, I think that he is so hurt by her. Mm -hmm. And so for him, he's trying to validate his emotions. Yeah. Because he doesn't feel like they've been validated. And he feels like he's given her all his deep darkest secrets and she's been sharing all this stuff and now she's he's like what the heck it's a major violation of, yeah. of trust yeah she should have broken up with him first and then go yeah before you do that yeah she has I no intention of breaking like ending the marriage she wants her cake and eat it too yeah. well this other guy might not be as financially stable he might not even be available he might be yeah. married as well oh, he, well he is yeah Remember? so so they're just having their affair and keeping their spouses off to the side yeah and there's a lot of people that do stuff after a week she wants to have a real talk for the first time i oblige her because i've already got my Quack. together and i've got an idea of what i want but i should hear her out she's so sorry she wants another chance she wants her family back she'll do anything she's on her knees crying into my lap it would be interesting what i would like to know in this story how much money does she make versus how much money he makes mm -hmm. because no one gives away a winning lottery ticket and if he's making a couple of hundred thousand dollars a year and she's a stay-at-home mom mm -hmm. then all she wants is his money she's, right and the she, financial security yeah i mean she's getting two hundred thousand dollars a year worth of lifestyle and living and sitting and support without not having that to work staying at home is not a yeah. job what it's she doesn't want to do job, is go to work and this other guy's not available or maybe he doesn't make money or who knows what right i have no intention of ever taking her back well that's probably good then he needs but, to tell her but, that but, yeah do not allow her to here's exactly. the thing even though she's made him suffer and hurt mm -hmm. doesn't mean that he needs to do that to right right you do not Don't stoop, stoop to, to her, her level, level. Yeah. yeah because but i'm afraid he's going to oh i'm i, I am he's enjoying her yeah. begging and pleading yeah and, and it's and he's, building he's his self-esteem he's going to probably lie and manipulate to her and it makes him i think worse than her and if he does that it's going to do something to his psyche his emotions his spirit is not worth it.
Right. I tell her she needs to set up marriage counseling on her own at a time that works for me. I tell her that I can't. Boom. See? He's, he's, he's manipulating he's, her. He's manipulating. Not good to do. Can't live with her, but she should be around the children to try to maintain a relationship with them. So starts our new normal of her coming over to the house, cooking, and having dinner with the kids three nights a week. She always saved me a plate. I made myself scarce. Her cleaning the house and doing the kids' laundry, then heading back to her place. We went to counseling. It consisted of her working through her issues with the therapist, trying to figure out why she did it, her begging for forgiveness, and me stoically playing the victim. Not good. No. They shouldn't even be in that counseling. Why they would should... you even do that? If you're done, you're done. And... No wonder she cheated on him. Yeah. No wonder. Because if this is the type of person that he is, then at this point I'm seeing it as he deserves it. And he's now putting this out into the world. How long do you think it's before his kids find out? Oh, yeah. And now he's the villain in the story. Oh, and the kids the are going to resent him because he didn't even try to work on the marriage. If mom was like trying and she's yep. doing all this stuff and the whole time in his head, he's like, ah, I don't care. I'm just hurting her more. Yeah. The kids are going to totally resent And the kids him. are going to absolutely know that. Oh, whether yeah. they see it now or later, it always plays out that way. I've talked to thousands of people who have mm -hmm. been through these things, and it always happens that there way. There is a difference with saying, I will go to counseling with you and see if I can get through this. And if I can't, I will be open and honest with you. Right. Then to do this. Because the real flaw in the cheating is the lying breach of trust. And then he's reacting by doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. He's enacting revenge on her, and that is not good. Yeah, no, it's not good. I was never going to give her another chance. All I wanted to do See? was time, establish myself as the primary caregiver to the kids, and establish her as not having residency in the house. And it doesn't usually even play out. That he's he's in imagination land now. Yeah. I asked my work if it's possible to go part time for the foreseeable future and deal with personal issues, and it's no big deal. After six months of therapy, I told her I couldn't forgive her right now and that I wanted an amicable divorce, but she's still the love of my life and maybe someday we could give it another try. I mean, what that's just pure heck? lying and he's lying and manipulating her for six months. That's exactly. evil. It is. It is. She was devastated but agreed to the divorce if I promised to try again Sunday. Once the divorce was filed, I needed the kids to want to stay with me. I left a Google search for how to survive your wife's infidelity up on the shared PC at home. That is so wrong. Yeah, he's an evil bastard. Yeah. Oh, I left some printed out infidelity art. All you're doing is, is messing up your kids. Yeah. That's not the word that I want to use. You're not only messing them up, you're messing them up for future relationships. And forever. Yeah. You're a bad your parent. Your problems aren't your children's problems. Exactly. And you don't involve them in that. No. That is absolutely wrong. Articles not so hidden in the kitchen. My daughter found them and came to me crying. I told her she wasn't supposed to find those and that mom made a mistake and that mom still loves her and I would always be there for her. Your kids He's are going manipulating his to, children yeah, now. and the kids are going to find that out and they're going to crucify him 10 times worse. He's going to get it sevenfold of what he's trying to give to her and yep. he deserves it. Yeah. He had the high ground. Yep. All he needed to do was the right thing yep. and instead he's doing this petty stuff. My daughter, who used to hold my wife in such high regard, now wouldn't talk to her without screaming, and it crushed her. Yeah, it crushed who? Which, who's the her? Your, the, your the wife, wife or your daughter? And the daughter. It's both, yeah. exactly. Not surprisingly, when the court needed statements from kids a few months later, little brother followed big sister's lead, and they both wanted to stay with dad in the house they grew up in. When the divorce was finalized, I got the house, had to buy out some of her equity, but that's okay. I got who are going to have to go to therapy and you're most likely condemning them to mm -hmm. the J curve, which is to repeat this cycle of what you're teaching and demonstrating to them. Well, they just, he just taught his kids to be evil. Exactly. They're going to grow Primary. up and think, Oh, someone does me bad. It does me wrong. All yeah. right. I come back with a knife at them. Exactly. He's ruining yeah. their lives and their futures. Bad parents. Custody of the kids. I got awarded generous child support due to the difference in our incomes due to me working part time. Yeah. And so here, here's what of you did. Of course he did. You tried to get her to pay you a little bit more money and you cut your income in half. So what, for 20% for of her income, you gave away 50% of yours? Oh, good financial decision, idiot. Yeah. What a moron. Wow, oh, I see what you did there. Now for the last two years, I've gotten to live in the house with my kids, work part-time, get the now ex to subsidize it for me. Whoa, Nelly. And his 
his financial future is yeah. being ruined because he's making at least 25% total less money. What a fool. And when she takes the kids over the weekend, I get to have my fun with Tinderellas and some friends with benefits I've cultivated. In the eyes of my kids, I'm the patron saint of fatherhood for taking the high road and always being there. Nope. You didn't take the high road. You didn't take the high road. And, took the low and road. And your kids are going to figure this out and come and crucify you for it. And you're so stupid about it. It spilled out. You put it on the internet. Yeah. You think they're not going to figure that out? When they are old enough to understand this, they are going to hate him. And that's going to last a whole lot longer than this temporary. See his whole plan, how it has ended up in this road to hell? Mm -hmm. Not good. In the eyes of my ex, I'm the one that got away and she will always pine for. Her. And I get the bonus of having her come over whenever I want by dangling that carrot of maybe getting back together. So he's sleeping with the ex too. What a jerk. Yeah. But that's never going to happen. Anybody got a mic to drop? It's not a mic drop. No. I'm going to drop the mic on him because he is a fool yes. and an idiot. And this is not playing out the way that he thinks. He's gotten 25% at a minimum, 25% less cash flow. So his wealth and his overall long-term safety. He doesn't care. He yeah. thinks he's winning because he yeah, doesn't have to work to as much. Yeah, he's, and he, then he he's has lying. all these side he, hustles. And he's, and he's lazy. With these women. Yeah. And he's insecure yeah. and has no real relationship yeah. and he's a manipulator. He is playing this whole thing up in his head like he won, he won, yeah. he won. And he doesn't realize he lost. Yeah. He will one day mm -hmm. and it's not going to end up pretty. Yeah. So don't do that. Don't do anything yes. petty in a divorce. No. And we'll see you in the next video. Yes. Watch, subscribe, like our page, tell your friends. This is the Lawyer Dana Show. Yes. Bye.